Hi, I'm Elizabeth Gearhart with Fireside. I'm here with Charlene Hers, style coach. Hi, Charlene. What makes Hey, you Elizabeth. Uh, hey. I am so tickled to be here. Um, so I really want to, first of all, I want to thank you for this opportunity. Uh, it's not, uh, you're doing this, I don't, you're not doing this out of the goodness of your heart, but it kind of feels that way. Um, so I said, now, yeah. <laughs> um, and that's, um, that's pretty amazing that you're willing to give your time and your effort to make people like me show up better and show up at all. Thanks. Um, so thanks. Take that. So what makes your clients choose you to work with over anybody else that could do personal styling? Well, besides the fact that I just love people um, and that really comes across, I, th I think that comes across, I like to think that that comes across. Um, I'm a firm believer is that everybody, but everybody has something of value to contribute. And my job is to make sure you show up with as the value you are, you provide. Wow. That's, that's really great. And that, Showing up starts with first impressions and your personal brand. Absolutely. And it's also showing up starts with how you feel about yourself. And you know that feeling you get, you know, you're dressing up, you dress up for a special occasion and you catch yourself in the eyes, in the mirror, and you're like, got this. And you walk in the room, your shoulders are back. You just, you know, you just feel better. And my job is to make sure you have that feeling every time you walk out of the house. So if I were to come to you for my personal brand styling, because I'm my brand too right now with Fireside, I'm doing this by myself. Um, what's one of the first things we would do? Wow. Um, my favorite thing to do pre-corona, start with that, pre-COVID, as you guys say in the States, is I like to get into somebody people's closets. I love to play in your closet. And then I get, it gives me a perspective of what you like, what you don't like, what, you, what you're drawn to. Um, but the conversation really is what makes you tick? What makes you happy? If you could wave a magic wand, who would you be when you woke up tomorrow morning? And then you help and then that style. Absolutely. Because you know what, what color makes you happy? Right. Well, for me, I would say blue, blue makes me happy. And blue probably makes your eyes pop. Yes, and, and I like purple too. Um, but I think blue is my go-to color because it does match my eyes. So you and I would start there. If we'd start there. We would look, at, I'd look at what you have because I hate to have people create a whole new wardrobe. I think that's, that's silly and a waste of money. Um, usually we have things in our, we have things that we love mm -hmm. and we have things that we, you know, if I, you don't have anything else to wear, you don't know what to wear. There's going to be that one thing that you'll put on to make yourself feel better. Right. So and we look at, sorry. Oh no. So, so just for the closet thing real quick, mm -hmm. people do that remotely with you. Can they go in there with their phone? And absolutely. This is thank God for modern technology. Um, what you do, the, clo the, the clo clo closet review is actually something that's, um, that's a little more time consuming online because I make you try on more things because I can't see them. So I have to see how they fit. Um, but you do the closet review, you walk out with a closet review with pictures of everything, all your outfits are already set up. I create lookbooks. So if you know you have a meeting, you have a special occasion, you just, you don't have to think about what you need to wear. You never have that feeling when you walk into your closet, it's like, I have nothing here. You're, so, you're set up and then you can play. Um, my favorite client, she's, she's an amazing, amazing human being. Um, and she loves funky clothing, but she wasn't wearing any of it. And after I did a session with her and then she calls me up, she's like, you remember that jacket I couldn't figure out? I wore it out with my girls the other night. And she was just excited. You should be excited. You know, we shop as, as women, I think we shop as therapy. Okay. Maybe I'm speaking about myself. I love to shop. Me too. You know, and we buy these things. It's good. This is amazing. And then you go back to your closet and you have nothing it works with. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> you know, and then it's like it sits and it sits and you look at it, it's like, you know, I really, but, you know, what if you could take that? You know, I give you the, you get the tools. It's like, okay, I can put that with that and that and that. And all of a sudden this unique piece, you can wear six, seven, six or seven different ways. So that's the dressing part of it. What about that's hair and makeup? Do you work on that too? Um, yeah, because I think, 
you know, we're born with whatever hair we've got, that's what we're born with. Um, a lot of us don't like it very much or would like to do something different with it. Um, part, part of the conversation is getting you to love yourself the way you are. Okay. Um, but makeup is especially makeup, especially online, makeup's trickier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Makeup's trickier and you need to wear more and you need to, and I love working with people's colors because we really get stuck with, you know, I mean, I could play with my light, yeah. but whatever color makeup I have on suits me no matter what color the background is because I'm matching my makeup to my base skin tone. And that's what a lot of people don't get. Um, you know, they used to be, they used to, we used to have the seasons. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember that. Oh, like, and now they, they expanded the seasons. Now you have early fall and late fall. <laughs> so now they're 12 seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That doesn't help me get my makeup on. And that doesn't help me wear colors that flatter me. So there, I have a few, my, my favorite, favorite tip for lipstick is if you look at the color on the inside of your lip. Uh-huh. You want your lipstick to blend with that color. It doesn't need to, it can be darker, it can be lighter, but if you're pink in there, if you're like, if you're a bluey pink, you don't wanna wear an orangey color. There's certain colors that will just clash with your skin tone as much as you love them. Um, those lovely neutrals that people like to wear. I could never, for example, you're wearing something peachy. I can't pull that off. Love to, cannot wear that color for the life of me. Yeah. Yeah. I know some lipstick colors just look horrible on me. And you just, you know, just to get you to be aware of what works and what doesn't. Um, they're actually, if you want to figure out what your base color is, go out in the sun and look at the inside of your arm. Because okay. they're people, I, I mean, colors are fun. I mean, I, I have <laughs> you before I'm a dentist. I can, you know, I can pick it. I can pick what colors tooth you shade tooth you have from thirty five different from a thirty five from thirty five different pad. You know, I'll pick out the tab and tell you what color you are. Now, and teeth are, and you'd be surprised. Teeth can be gray. They can be green. They can be yellow. They can be white. Our skin is can be more gray. It can be more green. Think of an olive skin person. It can be yellower. It can be pinker. It can be redder. It can be whiter. And it doesn't make a difference if you're black, white, yellow, or, you know, or whatever, there's an underlying tone under there. And that means there's certain shades of certain colors you can't wear. Wow, you really get into the science of this, but you do have a science background. You were a dentist before you started yeah. this. Do you want to talk about that transition? Oh, sure. Now, I went into dentistry <laughs> Because I wanted, to, I wanted, knew I wanted to move to Israel and I wanted to make a lot of money in Israel. Uh, that was kind of my thing. But what I found, I had a practice on Central Park West, which I loved. You know, patients would sit in the chair and they'd look outside it. And I found I was scheduling patients for a little extra time so I could chat with them. Okay. Because I, you know, my favorite thing to do was to have people come in and say, you know, this tooth is a little gray and a little crooked. What can you do? And have them walk out half an hour later with a smile, like, again, you know, like that outfit, they could smile comfortably and that ease and that joy that I could, I was able to provide them that, you know, that kind of lit me up. Um, and then it was like, you know, I want to have conversations with people. And as a I couldn't afford to schedule everybody for an extra time that I wanted, you know, and keep actually have an active practice. So I kind of, I, I started move, I started doing the switch. Um, I've been, I had been coaching through a, a company called Landmark. I did the Landmark Forum 28 years ago. And I've always been in a coaching, I've always been in a coaching program since then or been coaching people since then. So I got what people were asking me mm -hmm. and what people needed. Um, but I couldn't really have that conversation with them when I had two hands in their mouth. <laughs> that doesn't work, does it? That doesn't work. So I kind of, <laughs> I took that and I took my love of color and I was just sat down one day and said, you know, what lights me up and where can I provide the most value for people? Yeah, so that's how you 
into, well, you already were looking at teeth colors and the whole skin color thing, like the underneath. And I hadn't really heard the underneath part before, but it sounds like you've really kind of put a science to how you help people pick their colors. I want to make it so that they, they don't need me. Yeah. You know, as much as I like to be needed, you're welcome to pick up the phone. Any of my clients know they can pick up their phone. They can send me pictures of something they want to buy and I'll tell them, you know, I'll advise them on it, but I want to make it so that you can do it yourself. Yeah. So if somebody now is like, let's say somebody does have an event they have to go to and it's social distance. I mean, we're in the States, you're in Israel. I know you guys have been under lockdown. I don't know. Again, <laughs> we're, we're still social distancing here. I'm in New Jersey. New York won't let New Jersey people come in anymore because our cases are going up again. But, but let's just say, let's just say you went to a wedding that had 10 people and you all socially distanced and wore masks and everything. And I need something to wear to that wedding. How, what, how would we do that? Um, how would I do it from here with you being there? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're ready. I know your body type. And we've had the conversation of what you like. Yeah, let's just say that. Um, yeah, you know, I like blue. You know, I'm short. You know, I'm gained a few pounds during COVID. <laughs> so, so you've seen me. You've probably seen my closet because I, I, that's where you start. And now I say, oh, my gosh, Charlene, I have a wedding coming up. What do I do? Um, we could do one of two things. I would eat if you didn't want to deal with the shopping part of it. Uh -huh. I would go online. I already know what your, your, what your build is. And I would send you links to three or four different dresses. Okay. Okay. Um, if any of the, if you liked any of those, didn't like any of those, I would, I think I, I probably have a pretty good idea of what you'd like. You probably like things that are a little more constructed and not, too, but not too tight fitting. Um, yes, you're right. <laughs> that was good. I'm good. So I would look for, I'd probably put you in a suit. Okay. But something with a little bit of flair and it wouldn't be, you know, something with a little bit more interest. Um, you have a wonderful neckline. I, I like V's. I'm a very big proponent of, I think everybody should be in a V neck, even though I'm not right now. Um, I think it's the most flattering neckline, mm -hmm. which is the beauty of a suit, depending on, you know, you could, the suit always gives you that V. Right. And it's also with, with the V, it makes you look slimmer. So with that little, the couple extra pounds you, you put on, aren't as visible. That's nice. <laughs> That's good advice. So, and so then I would fit, figure out which one I wanted and just order it. And then I would pay you for your time and extra my time. Yeah. Okay. So what if we were together here and we were in New York and we had every store in New York that we could go looking oh, in? <laughs> How would it work then? I would say, Charlene, my son's getting married, which he actually is in May, but I'm going to oh. lose these congratulations <laughs> yeah so charlene my son's getting married what do i do what what should i wear um well if you're i you know one of my i love to shop and shopping for other people just kind of feeds the need for me as well yeah so well i'd start probably with magazines or look or or um send you some you know do a pin do a look, look do a board a board so we can figure out actually where you what you want okay and then, and then we then we would take that and we go to the stores. We, uh, you know, I would, I do the, I do the legwork even if when we're, I do the legwork before you're doing the legwork. Okay. I will find the places where you're most likely to find what you want. So you might, well, depending on my budget, it is my son's wedding. So maybe you go to, Obviously. right. And you find the blue V suit at Saks that is going to look fabulous. Well, I don't know if it'd be a suit for this wedding, but maybe I, some, for a, I wouldn't put you in a suit for a wedding. Yeah. So you would find, you know, four or five dresses, maybe at Saks, and then maybe you would go to some other high end store um, and find a couple. And so then we would just hit those spots instead of going all over Manhattan. <laughs> right. Okay. We just had, yeah, no, because it, it's as fun as shopping is, it's not fun going everywhere. Right. So so that's, uh, so you go in person to the stores to see what they have, because what they ha say they have online, they don't always have in the store. I like, I'm also, I'm a very tactile person when it comes to clothing. You want it, you want it to feel good on. It's not, it can't just be pretty, but it's got to, you don't want it to be itchy, especially for your son's wedding. You don't want it to be itchy. You want it to be 
a beautiful fabric. The drape of a fabric, when you see a picture and the drape of a fabric, of a fabric when you see it on a body is different. Yeah. You okay. know, Definitely. your son's what, you don't want to be too, you don't want something too shiny. You might want something with a little bit of lace, but you don't want, you're not a big lace person. You know, there, there are things we need to, there are a lot of things to take into consideration. And I probably wouldn't put you in blue for your son's wedding. No, I don't think I can wear blue because that's one of their colors, actually. <laughs> But you might add, you might be able to wear purple. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind because of, it's just off enough. Right, I'm kind of leaning towards purple. Uh, the mother of the bride already has her dress, and it's kind of a lilac, light lilac. So I'll have to. You're not a lilac person, though. No, no. So that's that's perfect, right? So yeah, so um, okay. So then, what about shoes? I, so I have really hard to fit feet. I mean, I get all my shoes from Zappos, quite honestly. Which is great. My feet are getting harder to fit as I age. Unfortunately, do you wear heels? Uh, yes, like an inch to two inches. Short. Okay. It's just short years. You know, a heel doesn't make it a little heel makes a huge difference, especially, I mean, I would put you probably in a kitten heel, which is something that has a little bit of a, it's got a little bit of a, of this to it yeah. um it's because you want something a little bit more interesting right and it draws the eye differently and i don't want you in a rounded toed shoe i know they're more comfortable i'm talking about your son's wedding here you want something with a little bit that's a little bit unless you really actually the wedding you said is in may yeah middle of may so you can wear a sandal yeah i might do that i'll have to see what the weather's like because that one year where they're having it they're in uh, they're going to do it in Pittsburgh. In oh. Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's where she's from. That what? could be tricky. Yeah, so one year it, it was 80 degrees and they moved it inside. It's an outdoor wedding. And the next year it snowed on that date. So they moved it into this barn. Okay, well, <laughs> so oh, so either way, if it's too hot or too cold, you can still be wearing a sandal because it's May, so you're allowed. <laughs> okay, good. You know, you're the mother of the bride. You could, The mother of the groom, you could wear whatever you want. It's your affair yeah so. well it's their affair but it's your affair and it's not weird to be wearing sandals in may i don't care what the weather's like okay. i mean i wouldn't wouldn't wear them with snowshoes <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's still it's still may um and a sandal probably will serve you better so these are the kind of things you would do with your clients so then you you have a starting point and you would probably look at the shoes i have but you, you really want to focus on the dress and then get the shoes, right? So Absolutely, because it's, it's a lot easier to pick a shoe to match a dress. You don't need to, the shoes don't need to be matchy-matchy, but you want, the dress is really the center of attention. Right. And Especially then, if, if it's long, then it's really, then the shoes are a little, actually a little less critical. Exactly. So then what about men? Do you help men with their image as well? You know what? Men need to look good too they do and i know it's actually what makes me crazy these days is that we've gotten more and more casual yes and it's okay more it's okay for the men to be more casual but it's not okay for us to be more casual well, that's not fair <laughs> and it's, which is completely not fair so i want to turn that around <laughs> really <laughs> you know what does it hurt to put on a button down shirt instead of that damn t-shirt when you go online I know. Well, my husband wears a suit every day, so he's, he never quit. Like he, as soon as they said we had to shut everything down, we, we own the building where the law firm is. So he oh. everybody else out. He still got up, showered, shaved, put on his suit and went into the law firm every day and did a Zoom meetings from there. So I, I agree with you. I think it's important. People, men should look good. Men should look good. And you know what? You relate to somebody differently if they're dressed better. Not everybody can be, you know, not everybody is, I love using Steve Jobs as an example with his, you know, black turtlenecks. Yeah, but he could pull it off because he was friggin' Steve Jobs. Right. <laughs> and, and it wasn't um, messy. Like there were probably $500 black turtlenecks at that point. Right. <laughs> you know, and you know, yeah. but, but he still showed, his uniform was turtlenecks and jeans because he didn't want to have to think about it. Right. Um, and I think that's a big thing. Nobody wants to have to think about what, you know, that's one less decision you need to make over the course of the day. 
And you make those decisions for people or help them make it. So help them, you know, I, you know, the fun part is creating somebody's daily uniform. You know, nobody wants to wear a uniform, but if you know you have those three, those are my three go-to outfits and each could be completely different, but that's my go-to. That's one less decision you need to make, you know, that much easier to get out of the house. So what kind of body types do you work with? Everything? <laughs> you know, people are all different shapes. I know. Have you seen it all? I've, I've seen it all. Okay. Um, it's harder. Shopping is harder for certain body types just because there's less available. There's less. It's getting better. It's actually getting a lot better. Um, I try to steer people away from you know, wearing things that emphasize their worst parts. That's a big one. Yeah. You know what? I mean, people, people don't realize it sometimes. You yeah. know, where, where that nice, you know, the nice line cuts, you don't want that line cutting across the biggest part of your body. You might want to think of, you know, vertical stripes instead of horizontal stripes. You know, it's the things that people, it's like, well, I like this. Well, yeah, just turn the stripe sideways. That's fine. You know, it's the things that people don't see that sometimes you just need a little nudge in the right direction. Yeah, I used to, back pre-COVID, I, I have a girlfriend and we were different body shapes, but about the same size. And we would go shopping together. And I loved going shopping with her because she would go, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Very nicely, but yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I do that to people in stores. They don't always appreciate it. I'm like... Yeah, but that's how other people are going to see him. And if why spend the money on a piece of clothing that's going to make you look terrible? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, the salespeople are just want to sell the clothes. Right, right. So, so great. I, I think you do a great service. You're doing it online now. You prefer to do it in person. I prefer to do it in person. I'm also doing, I'm starting, a, starting I'm branching out into doing lunch programs for small businesses because I want to reach more people. That's a good idea because, yeah. So you're in Israel right now, but you said you might come back to New York. Is that right? I think I'll be, I'll be commuting. Okay. <laughs> so it's like, it'll be, you know, every, every, every month or so I'll be in for a week or two. Okay. So people in Israel can find you and you'll dress them in Israel and then people in New York can find you and, and surrounding areas and you can dress them. I mean, Anybody that lives around New York is going to want to go into New York for, you know, this type of thing, I think. So, yeah, because, you know, New York is the shopping capital outside of Paris. Paris, I'd like to could take some, you know, that would be nice to go to take somebody on a shopping spree to Paris. You should do, do like a field trip. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> when all this is over. Yeah. Tell, tell these rich husbands here and rich women that they should give the wife a trip to Paris personal <laughs> shopper for her birthday. Like that's yeah. her birthday present now, right? Paris or, Paris or Italy. Oh yeah. I love Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, around the world shopping trip. <laughs> there's always, there's Dubai, you know, there's, there's Dubai. Well, now we have an agreement with Dubai. I can come, I can go take the Israelis to Dubai. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. So great. Well, I already made, I already made a connection with somebody from Dubai. So I have a place for us to stay. <laughs> so is there anything else that you want people to know about you? And um, no, just that, you know, it is really my joy and my pleasure to have you showing up the best that I, the best that you can and having you, you know, where you, how you show up, this is, I, this is my thing, another one of my things. I have a lot of things, um, but we as, we're, as people, we're so visual and we react emotionally before our brain kicks in. Right. And we put people in boxes. You meet somebody, you put them in a box. So I, my question is always, what, is what's, what story do you want people to have about you? Right, absolutely. And then let's make that happen. Perfect. So it's Charlene Hers, and you're on LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on, yeah, I'm everywhere, but LinkedIn is my, link, LinkedIn is my favorite stomping ground. Okay. And you have a website too, right? And I have a website. Okay, great. Well, thanks, Charlene. Thank you, Elizabeth. This was so much fun. It was, yeah.